Hey everyone, it's Brody at Everything Board Games. Lucky Duck Games sent me a review copy of Chronicles of Crime, so let's get it to the table. Chronicles of Crime is a cooperative storytelling adventure game that uses deduction to solve crimes. The game is played using a board that is accompanied with an app on one of your electronic devices. Setup is super easy and short. You'll set up the board and choose who controls each forensic contact. Set all the cards nearby and start the app. The app will lead you along as you get into the scenario. It'll tell you what locations and what character cards to start with. To scan an item to figure out more about it or to interrogate a suspect, you will scan the QR code on the card. And when scanning an item that is possible evidence, extra details will become available. And if it's important, it'll prompt you to add it to the clue board. When scanning a character, you will enter interrogation mode. While in interrogation mode, everything you scan will cause that character to speak about that topic. When you're done asking questions, you need to exit interrogation mode by pressing the goodbye button. If you scan a location card, it'll always move you to that location. If you scan a forensic contact, then you can ask them questions about different topics by scanning the QR codes of those things. This could be items or characters. The doctor would be really good to ask about for autopsy information. The scientist would be good to ask about physical evidence that you found at the scene. The criminologist is very good at human psychology, and so he would be good to ask about certain suspects or certain people. The hacker is good at hacking and with intelligence, and so if you need information about something electronic, he might be the guy to ask. Remember, when you're done asking the questions, then you need to press the goodbye button. When new locations are mentioned or revealed, then you'll be able to add them to an empty slot next to the board. When new characters are mentioned, you will also add them into one of the three spots in that location. If the character isn't located in that location, then there's a place on the main board that you can put it there until you find out where they're located at. In some instances, when visiting a location, you'll be able to search the scene for evidence. You will press the search the scene button and you will have 40 seconds to look around and tell everyone else what you see. When 40 seconds is over, you can choose to let another player search the scene or you can stop. You'll need to scan all those evidence cards described by that player and if prompted, you can add them to the clue board. The other players at this time can also search through the cards and match what you're explaining to them. And if prompted, you can add them to the clue board. The game has a clock, and each time you scan an item, interrogate a suspect, or observe a crime scene, it'll add 5 minutes to your time. Each time you travel from one place to another, it'll add 20 minutes to that time. Now the time has influence on your game score, and so the quicker you solve the case, the better your score is. And in some scenarios, the time passing in a game can change the situation that you're dealing with. When you think you have your story straight and know everything, you can solve the crime by going back to the home location and pressing solve the case. When doing Doing this, a series of questions will appear and you'll have to answer them the best that you can by scanning the QR code of the card that best answers that question. This game is very similar to the popular Sherlock Holmes consulting detective game in which you are exploring locations and trying to solve a mystery. Chronicles of Crime is kind of a more updated version and does a better job with the visual aspect because you use the app and there are cards that you're able to be prompted to add as clues and they're always on the board and so you can always look to see what the evidence is. The app lets you visually search for clues in different locations and by using the virtual reality glasses or in the 360 degree picture mode. I think that there will be possibilities to make endless number of scenarios and I really hope that they include a campaign mode where you can progress to become a better detective as well as have crimes in our loop with each other. For example, you meet a character here on the first scenario and they ended up being a normal bartender. But in the scenario 5, they become the murderer and you already have information on them from the first scenario that can help you solve the crime in the fifth scenario. That would be awesome. I do wish that they did some things better and they still can. When using the app, one player will control the device and end up reading the text to the rest of their group. I wish the app had audio with voices of each of the characters. This way you could just listen to what the people were saying instead of having someone in your group read it out loud to you. I think it would help with understanding what was going on and not having to ask that person to reread what they just read. Also when playing the game, there might be a time when you feel like you don't know what else to do. You feel like you may be asked all the characters about everything that you can think of and you're stuck and there's no way to move forward because there's no more clues that help to progress. At this point, everyone that's playing the game kind of seems like they're done and the scenario is too hard to solve. 
One thing that helps us is at this point, you could go and report what you know and try to solve the case. When you answer the questions, if you're wrong, the app will tell you that you're wrong and that you need to go out and catch the actual criminal. But no, when you're playing this game, there's no way to get hints. It's all up to you guys. Overall, the game is amazing, and I know there will be future expansions that will add new places and new characters and new items, and with all that, there'll be new scenarios. Again, this is Chronicles of Crime. Kickstarter starts the 27th, so if you like what you see, Go back it.